Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, I will uh, show you uh, how we do uh, utility maximization using a uh, constant elasticity of uh, substitution. Okay, so this is basically taken from the uh, example uh, given in the class. So let me just try uh, getting my um, whiteboard ready. Okay, so um, in the in the class, uh, we were given a utility function which consists of two goods x1 and x2 in this form. We have x1 to the power of rho plus x2 to the power of rho and both of these would be to the power of 1 over rho. Okay, so this is the utility function given to us. So how do we solve for the, uh, the consumer's problem? So step number one. So let's try to basically uh, state the problem in a much proper way. So we want to maximize the utility function, which is, this is our objective function, which consists of two goods. So we re simply rewrite the function again here. Okay, x2 to the power of rho, l from this to the power of 1 over rho. So this is our objective function. And we have uh, two goods, two control variables that we want to maximize. These are within the direct control of the consumer. And this would be subject to the budget constraint. So we have two goods. So we simply multiply each good, each goods quantity with its price. P1, P, P1, X1 plus P2, X2 must equal to M, where M is the consumer's income. Step number two is simply to uh, write uh, the Lagrangian function. Now we have uh, three arguments inside, X1, X2, and lambda. So we have um, X, okay, don't forget the bracket, X1 to the power of rho plus X2 to the power of rho, both of these to the power of 1 over rho plus lambda, okay, don't forget lambda, and we rewrite the budget constraint in this form, m minus p1x1 minus p2x2. Step number three is simply to uh, do the first order conditions, okay? So we find the partial derivative, okay, of the Lagrangian, first of all, with respect to x1, okay? So take a look at this. So we have lambda, we have x1 inside the bracket. So first of all, we need to uh, put 1 over rho on the front side. Okay, so everything in the bracket remains the same. x2 to the power of rho. Now what happens to the power? It will be 1 over rho minus 1. And don't forget to multiply because we have x1 inside the bracket. Now we need to di differentiate a, uh, the, the, uh, the term inside the bracket with respect to x1. So we have rho multiplied with x1 now to the power of rho minus 1. And there is an x1 here. So this one should be minus lambda p1. And we set this to equal to 0. Okay. And then we have um, second one. Okay, differentiate with respect to x2. So the same, we have 1 over rho, x1 to the power of rho plus x2 to the power of rho. And we have uh, 1 over rho minus 1 multiply with rho x2 to the power of rho minus 1 minus there is an x2 here again minus lambda p2 set this to equal to 0. And then finally, we differentiate this with respect to lambda, where this would give us the budget constraint again. It's P1 x1 minus P2 x2 equals to 0. So now that we have this um, three equation, okay, 1, 2, 3. So what we, we need to do next is simply to uh, somehow solve this simultaneously. Okay, so uh, take note. Okay, uh, just leave, I mean, some of the these uh, terms can be cancelled out easily. So let me just try to rearrange this. So when we rearrange the first equation, we're going to have 1 over rho. So we're going to have x1 rho plus x2 to the power of rho. And this is 1 over rho minus 1. Okay, just leave it as it is because we want to cancel it out later. Multiply with rho x1 to the power of rho minus 1. I'm going to bring this term to the other side of the equation. So this will be equals to lambda p1. And do the same for the second. So this will be x1 to the power of rho plus x2 to the power of rho to the power of 1 over rho minus 1 multiply with 
rho x2 to the power of rho minus 1 equals lambda p2. Okay, so uh, next what we need, we, we what I plan to do is I want to divide, basically. I want to put one of the equation 1 on top of equation 2 so that I can cancel out many of the terms easily. This is 1 over rho cancels out. This term, the whole thing going to cancel out. This is going to cancel out as well because there is a rho. This is x1, x2, leave it as it is. And this is lambda also cancels out. So from here, then we're going to end up with, basically, we're going to have, if you remember from, from the previous okay, uh, operations, we're going to end up with x1 to the power of rho minus 1 over x2 to the power of rho minus 1 equals p1 over p2. So these are from equations uh, 1 and 2. Okay, now uh, from the budget constraint previously, we have uh, p1 x1 plus p2 x2 equals m. Okay, this will be from the third. Okay, from the third, we just simply rearrange and we get our uh, budget uh, equation again. So what we need to do is that, so let's say my strategy is, um, since I have x1 here, I want to um, I want to replace this x1 with the term here. So I simply need to rearrange such that I only have x1 on one side. So what I need to do next is, so I'm going to have, um, so this would be basically, I want to I want to basically get rid of this uh, power first. So this is basically x1 over x2, both of these to the power of rho minus 1 equals p1 over p2. Next step will be to get rid of this, I simply need to divide, okay? I need to basically uh, 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 power both sides with 1 over 1 over rho minus 1. So when I do that, I will have, so what I'm doing here, is that, so this is what we have, P1 over P2. So we're simply going to just use a different color, make it um, hopefully clearer, divide this with rho minus 1. So this one also, I have to make it to the power of 1 over rho minus 1. Okay, so in this regard, for the next step, I will have uh, X1 over X2 equals P1 over P2 to the power of 1 over rho minus 1. And then I can have my x1 to be x2 multiplied with p1 over p2, 1 over rho minus 1. So this x1, I can replace it here. So now I can really write the whole equation, okay, from the budget constraint as, so we have p1, and then rewrite this whole thing. So I'm going to have uh, basically multiply with x2, and then we have uh, p1 over p2. Okay, this one to the power of x1 plus, get back your black color, plus p2 x2 equals m. Okay, um, so the next strategy would be, the next step would be to isolate x2 on one side. Okay, because we can now solve for x2. Um, now, to do this, we can simply uh, factorize because x2 is a common term. So, we have x2. Okay, so, put everything else in the bracket. P1 multiply with P1 over P2. This is to the power of 1 over rho minus 1 plus P2 equals M. Okay, now, um, sometimes in exam, you can simply uh, bring this whole thing in the bracket to the other side. Okay, I mean, you're going to put this in the denominator. Okay, but since I've already, uh, the answer, the, you know, but, but that doesn't really look elegant, but that's already correct. Okay, so let's say we want to uh, expand this. Uh, I want to simplify this further. Okay, so like I said, uh, you can simply carry this whole thing and put it in the denominator on the other side, and that will already give you the, the Marshall and demand for X2. So instead of doing that, let us just try to uh, solve uh, the, the thing inside the bracket. So this will bring us, so we're going to have P1 multiply with, this is P1 to the power of 1 over rho minus 1. And this thing going to be divided by P2 uh, to the power of 1 over rho minus 1 plus P2. Okay, so this is to the power of 1. To the power of 1 basically means that this is to the power of, because I need to have, to have the same denominator, rho minus 1, rho minus 1. Okay, so this is uh, the same base, so we can add them up. So rho minus 1, okay, so this will simplify to what? So this will simplify to 
x2 okay, this sign okay, uh, gonna be uh, p1 so row 1 minus 1 plus 1 gonna be row over row minus 1 and I still have uh, p2 here right p2 to the power of 1 over row minus 1 plus p2 inside the bracket equals m now I want to simplify this further Okay, so I need to have, uh, I want to add this. So I need to have the common denominator, which we will multiply this with this term. Okay, so next step will be, let me just use this small space here. X2 equals, I'm going to have, so here I'm expanding this. So P1, as it is, the rho over uh, rho minus 1, plus now P2 multiply with this term itself. So we have p2 to the power of 1 over rho minus 1. Both of these now will be divided by p2, 1 over rho minus 1. Okay, and this whole thing is going to equal m. Now, take note, this is again to the power of 1. So to the power of 1 means this is, I need to have the same, the common denominator, rho minus 1 over rho minus 1. So rho minus 1 plus 1, because this is the same base, so we're going to end up with x2, okay, going to then equals to p1, okay, rho over rho minus 1, plus p2, rho minus 1, plus 1, okay, okay same, rho over rho minus 1, both of these going to be divided by p2, 1 over rho minus 1 equals m. Okay. Oh, sorry. There should not be. Uh, this is not uh, equal sign. Uh. This is multiplied. So I'm so sorry about the mistake here. I mean, we are putting everything is is like this, right? Okay. I haven't separated them. So this is mistake from me. This this is multiplied. Uh, multiplied. So let's just get to a. So from here, let me just reproduce this uh, back on another page. So we have. From our previous, so we have x2 on one side, multiply with p1 to the power of rho over rho minus 1 plus p2 to the power of rho over rho minus 1. All of this to the power of p2 to the power of 1 over rho minus 1 equals m. Right? This is what we have earlier. Okay. This one. Okay. Multiply. Just take note of the power of each of the... Uh, prices. Now we can uh, multiply both sides with P2. So X2 going to equals, I'm bringing the whole thing on to the other side now. So M multiply with, so denominator becomes numerator, 1 over rho minus 1, divided by this thing, P1, rho over rho minus 1, plus P2, rho over rho minus 2. Okay, as you can see, this is the answer for the demand. So, because now we managed to basically uh, state x2 as a function of p1, p2, and income. So, what is this? This is the Marshallian demand for x2, okay, which is simply uh, in terms of income and prices. And this is the answer that is given in the slide so you can refer to it and uh, please you know try to get uh, x1 by repeating the same pro procedures uh, on your own so i think um, that's all uh, for now and uh, uh, see you in uh, next time inshallah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh